All right, so I'm doing research for a different video, and this was just too cool not to bring up real quick. This is Cool Retro Term, a Cool Retro Terminal emulator. You can see here I have it running, and it's, it works just like any other terminal would, except for the theming on it is so dramatic. Uh, it gives you that old school look. You can see this is even looks like it's on a uh, old school projector style monitor with the colors absolutely out of whack compared to what we're used to. Uh, if I bring up the GitHub page real quick, you can see there are other themes. You get a description. There's screenshots for some of the uh, things you have available to you. Uh, it goes over installation. All this will be linked in the description. But let's go ahead and play with this real quick. So the only thing I've done is type ls. Uh, you can see NeoFetch loaded up right here, and like my color palette, you can kind of see how extreme it is. And the cool thing is that this is uh, pretty extreme, but you can actually change these settings around to make it a little bit more uh, visible, make the colors pop out a little bit better, uh, whatever you want it to do. But the point of it is to be kind of extreme like this. Uh, so you see when I scroll, it gives you that uh, delayed kind of effect here. We got this bar off to the side. Uh, let's go ahead and just type some commands. So let's go yay, uh, bp, y top. Let's go ahead and grab this and we can see what this looks like. So let's just go ahead and grab this from like the community repo, type in my password. And the reason I'm downloading this is I just want to see uh, what it looks like in this terminal emulator. So uh, b, p, y top, hit enter. Oh yeah, that's super cool looking. Kind of uh, gives me a fallout vibes. That's super cool. Okay, so with uh, with this open, what we can do to go ahead and change the settings, theming, and all that is give it a uh, simple right click. Oh, we were able to. It's maybe because I have this program open. open. So let's go ahead and uh, kill BPY top here. So let's quit out. And yeah, so you can't be running an application. But on the normal screen, if we go ahead and right click and go to settings here, I'm going to bring this over here. I do apologize, my theming doesn't really work with this very well, but I can give you a brief rundown of uh, what's going on here. Uh, you can do the, uh, you can change the frames per second, texture quality, bloom quality. This is under advanced, but if we go over to general here under profile, these are all the different uh, themes that they give you out of the gate. So, for example, if we, uh, the default amber is what you see, but you go with a uh, monochrome green. Uh, green scan lines and you can see the scan line going down uh, default pixelated and this one actually looks pretty cool I would use this on a daily basis. Uh, we have the old-school Apple Vintage so this is looks really old and then we have a uh, IBM DOS uh, <laughs> This is super cool uh, IBM 3278 uh, We have futuristic apparently and this is another cool looking one that I, I would actually use on a daily basis I love the effect it even uh, supports transparency fairly well within the window, so that is super cool. Uh, let's go to uh, let's let's stick with default pixelated and open up BPY top again, just so we can see what that looks like. Yeah, that's super cool. All the colors come through, has all the dot fonts and all that. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see it kind of glitching off to the side every once in a while. Uh, some of these aren't lined up properly, but hey, it's it's pretty cool. We go back to the settings here go to terminal you can see uh, you can change the uh, font so right now it's set to pixels because of the theme I selected in the name you can change the scaling the font width uh, over here to effects this is where you could actually go ahead and change it around so let's say you really like this theme you really like this font but you didn't want this uh, static look or this line coming through you could get rid of the flickering the glow line things like that here so it is fairly customizable. If you're looking for some cool terminal utilities, uh, check out my seven uh, must have terminal applications video. Uh, very good video, lots of you guys liked it. Uh, that's kind of how I discovered this as somebody left a comment on that video talking about this uh, terminal emulator. Uh, again, the link to their GitHub page will be in the description. Uh, if you are on um, Arch, you just do yay or Pamac or whatever, or I'm pretty sure it's in the regular Arch repository, so you could do Pac-Man and uh, dash S cool dash retro dash term and go ahead and play with it. So that is about it. I do hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you do not miss future uploads. Uh, yeah, have a beautiful day and goodbye.